All right, let's talk. Here I am, just leaving a, um, uh, I'm leaving the Lowe's Home Improvement Center. And as you can see, I've got my face diaper on. You know, these, these face diapers, everybody's gonna wear a face diaper now in public. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, can't, uh, can't go out to eat yet. Uh, if I wanted to in the, in the middle of April, and I wanted, to, let's just say that I wanted some jewelry in the middle of April, and I wanted to go buy it. I couldn't even buy it curbside. Also, I could not get a haircut if I wanted to. Um, and this is all due to the health orders uh, from New Mexico, from our governor. And you know what's really ironic is I just hear now that during that time, our governor in the great state of New Mexico, um, decided that it would be okay for her to use a hairdresser in Las Lunas, no, I'm sorry, in Corrales, um, that she knows to um, do her hair and her nails and such. Now, I know what you're going to say. She's the governor and she needs these things because she's going to be on TV. Well, you know what? We all need those things. But going further, if we wanted to buy jewelry at that time um, we could not do it other than through a uh, online ordering program we could not do it curbside pickup yet not until May 1st could we do that lo and behold we find out that she went to uh, Lily Barack I think was the name of that jewelry store and uh, she uh, knew someone who worked there and she had them go and open the store and uh, get the jewelry she wanted and then leave it outside the door which is a curbside pickup and had a staffer go pick it up and then take it to her. And all this demonstrates is you give people this kind of power and it's they'll be corrupted absolutely. And that's what's happened here. It's okay for her. In her mind, it was okay for her to do that. She even right now says she did not violate her order, but her orders was very specific that there was no curbside pickup in those types of stores. You couldn't do that. And in fact, uh, she levied fines against restaurants, gun stores, and a lot of other places, and even suspended some people's licenses uh, 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 for uh, you know, cutting hair and things of that nature. Uh, the police department had a, uh, uh, a favorite barber that they were going to, uh, and you know you can argue that they have just as much reason to have uh, uh, be well groomed when they're out there uh, dealing with the public as she does, but. She shut that down really, really fast. And, but for her, it's okay. Um, I mean, what do you say about that? What can you say about that? You know, there's fines been levied. There's people that, that, that are, their businesses have been threatened. And their, their license is suspended for them doing business during her public health order. But she had no problem uh, asking someone and actually causing them to open their business and sell her items and do curbside pickup when no one else could, which was a violation of her order, and that business doesn't have any anything happen to them either. So there you go. Um, is it ever going to end? Are we ever going to uh, uh, stop this ridiculousness? And I noticed that now she opened up uh, restaurants to 50% of their capacity. Uh, on, in the patio only. So if you want to go out and eat at a, a restaurant that has a patio, and I'm not sure how many of them actually have that. I mean, uh, like, like Taco Cabana does. And I appreciate that. I think that's great. 50% of the capacity and uh, table spaced apart six feet. But she said for bars, you can't do that. If their revenue is not 50% <clears throat> of the revenue, I think she said, had to be from food. So in other words, if you're a bar and you have a patio, you can't do that. Even though you'd be doing the same social distance. What's the difference? None. Just because you're drinking as opposed to... She targets certain businesses and says, Hey, we, we, we don't like these kinds of businesses. We don't want people to go out and have a good time. Um, you know, the only, I, I, in my opinion, the only reason she opened up the restaurants to 50% is because she had to do something to deflect from the story that broke last night of her buying this jewelry. And, you know, uh, it's pretty well known, even though that, the, that no one has an actual story, that she uses a hairdresser in Corrales and has been to uh, uh, do her hair and her nails while she 
uh, is, is why this whole thing's in a lockdown. And no one else can do that. I cannot go find a hairdresser and or barber and say, I need a private, I need to come to your house and have you uh, uh, cut my hair. Um, if I did do that, I, well, you know, I, I can do whatever I want, but I would be violating that public health order. And so would that barber. But it's okay for her to do it. it just, it's, it's unbelievable. We need to, to move on from this. There should, we, we, we need to do something to change the way the public health orders are issued in this state and all states. Don't give the governor that kind of power. And if they do do this, if they do have a public health order, if they violate it, doggone it, they need to pay for that. Okay, she violated that health order. She needs to waive the fines for every single business that she fined during this thing and give them back their licenses or, or just resign. Of course, that'll never happen, but uh, you know, she blatantly violated her own order because it's okay for her. There you go. So for those of you out there who are saying, look how great we're doing here. The governor did this, the governor did that. She did all that violated her own order. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Have a good day.